Praise the Lord. My name is David Uja. I would like to thank God for his divine provision for me when I was doing my A-level programs. He provided for me throughout all my stay in school. He provided, when I was in school, I didn't have funds. My fees, I couldn't pay it. But God provided helpers, different people, people I didn't even know were paying, sending me money for my fees. I want to thank God for that. I want to also thank God that when I was in school, I didn't really have where to feed, but all through my stay, I wasn't hungry for one day. I want to give God all the praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. You told me outside there that um, your outstanding fee, a parent, a, a, your friend's parent paid your outstanding fee. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Like when, when, cause when I was close to my final exams, the school was like threatening I won't write my exam, my final exams if I don't pay up. So from nowhere, a woman I used to go like do home sale at her place, gave me money for, to pay. And one of the student, one of my fellow students, her mom sent me money to pay for my fees. Can someone return the glory of Jesus Christ for divine favor? And I see God favoring someone today. If you believe it, why not make it louder and stand to your feet and make it a glorious, a triumph shout for Jesus Christ. A triumph, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, sir, what is your advice for viewers all over the world and the people watching you right now in the congregation? You have faith in God that there is nothing like it's too late for God to do it. And I want to thank God. I want to still thank God and appreciate this altar because all through I was praying to the God of this altar and He didn't fail me. And He didn't fail you. Hallelujah. Return the glory to Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church. He's not saying that you praise yourself. He is saying that you praise the one that bought your salvation with his blood without paying any time. And you are just sitting down and praising that king of kings. He's a maker of kings. He's a maker of father. He's a father of all father. And you are just sitting down and praising Jesus. Why not make it louder for Jesus Christ? If you know Jesus bought your salvation with his blood and you are here to save somebody here on earth i want you to celebrate the king of kings once more celebrate him celebrate him with your hands above your heads with your hands above your head with your hands above your head give it louder for jesus my name is editor gregory i am here to testify to the goodness what God has done in my life through the altar of restoration. It happened it happened last week Sunday. But before then, I have a dream. Last month, 23rd of last month, that I was beaten by a snake in my dream. And I woke up that morning, I discovered I was having a leg pain. So that day, I came to church. I, I came to my shop. I could not pray. And I told one of my our sister here, even met me in my shop, and said, Greg, you are not happy. What happened? I told her that I have a dream that I was beaten by a snake, and I'm feeling leg pain. On she that said, same leg? Yes. That you had that dream, the snake beat you? Yes, sir. And when you, wake, when you woke up in the morning, you started feeling, feeling pain, leg pain on that same leg? Yes, sir. So I came to... She told me that I should pray. I said, okay, I will visit the altar. I came to altar, I prayed. I discovered, later in the day, I discovered that the leg pain was gone. The pain disappeared. Yes. The pain disappeared. The Bible says he frustrated the tokens of the liars. And he makes the diviners mad. He disappoints the devices of the crafty. And their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Above all, he said the name of God is a strong tower. That the righteous run to it. And they are saved. Celebrate Jesus Christ. So, last week Sunday, when I came to church, I wake up in the morning. I discover I was feeling somehow not to come to church. I said no. I have never done that before and I cannot afford to miss church. After all, I woke, I woke up to 
church. I came to church that Sunday. Preaching here, after the preaching and everything, when daddy came up, he said that he has a, a prayer point, the last prayer point. We should pray about the serpent. That as we are going to pray about this serpent, as we are going home, some of us will kill snake, scorpion, and cockroach. And by prophetic rest. declaration, what you are saying during the service, by prophetic declaration, daddy declared that we should pray against snake bite and scorpion sting. And you started praying that prayer. Please tell us what happened after then. So after church, we closed. I went home. On my road going home, I saw a mighty snake. You saw a snake physically, not in the dream. Snake, mighty one. The one that beat you in the, in the dream. Yes, sir. Now he wanted to manifest physically to beat you yes, physically. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did not even notice it. I went very close to the snake before I opened my eye. I discovered there was a very mighty snake on my way. A very mighty snake. I run. After running, I say, ah, but I have a prayer point concerning this snake. I must kill this snake. So I went and dropped my Bible. I went and dropped my Bible. I picked stone. Like play like Job. That was how God, God of restoration. And you killed the snake. Can you look at your screen? The picture of the snake. After that prophetic declaration, is a mighty snake. And it was going home physically, the snake appeared. The one that was in the tree. And I manifested physically. Because the prophecy was speaking ahead of him. And God gave him power to kill that snake. Somebody is about to kill his enemy this morning. And mama is about to declare. If you know you are about to receive that declaration, why not make it louder for Jesus? And I receive every hidden enemy, every secret serpent, poisoning your joy, poisoning your health. As you clap your hands, they are dead today. They are dead. As you prophesy, every secret serpent. Every single power attacking your health, poisoning your life. As you clap, as you clap they, they are dead. Yes, they are dead. They are dead. They are dead. We release the stone by fire. The stone of David. 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 The stone Say I command. I command the Holy Ghost stone. The Holy Ghost stone to go after my enemy. To go after my enemy in form of any creature. Let it go now. We are trying. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Shata. three, Shata. four, Elopasa. five. They Esh. are dead. Amen. Asata. You are the next in line to testify. Amen. I remember that prayer last week, Sunday, and results are already here. I know you are the next in line to Amen. To testify. God bless you. Hallelujah. And if you know, you want to connect to this testimony this morning, and you know that situation in your life is about to fizzle away, I want somebody to just carry a seed and just drop it at the feet of Jesus Christ. If you want to connect to this testimony this morning, I see somebody coming out with that, with that faith to connect this morning. If you know God is about to change the situation, God is about to try on something in your life, why not connect, 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 connect to the testimony. Hallelujah. Shata bo shata la bos. Liko sakonda shata baraho sita. Hallelujah. You and Papa is about to declare. Hey, double declaration. You may not understand. Before the kill of the snake, something happened. I remember there was a time I said, "Go to your village and bring sand from your village." And I prayed on that sand. And today. I come to restore 
what the snake has swallowed from you. Amen. I come to the store. Can I have oil? I come to the store. That snake you kill, whatever he has swallowed from you, from your father's land, that said it will not amount to anything. Today I have come to restore to you all that the snake has swallowed. It shall be a double portion. Put it on your put it on your head. Father, you said restore the whatever the snake has swallowed. Because the snake is dead. Take what he has swallowed in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, I want to thank God for his faithfulness in my life. Amen. I want to thank God for the food on my table. Amen. I want to thank God for the roof over my head. Amen. I want to thank God for the good health. Amen. Over me, over my family, over our nation, over the Amen. May his name be praised forever and ever. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Brethren, I want to thank God for using our mommy last year as God will have it. Me and my partner will open a company. Then we have somebody to do our website. But unfortunately, the guy was just, after paying him, he was delaying. So this year, I said, why would this thing be delayed? So me and my partner, we, we reported him to SSS, SAS, sued him to court. So they were calling him, okay, before I take action, let me come and meet our mommy and daddy and tell them, see what I want to embark on before taking the action because this is a new year i don't want to start that way this year so uh, i went to mommy i told her say cool down that is a settled case that shouldn't go to any police so that day mommy called me out three weeks ago and uh, prophesied to me that it was a tool of the enemy that don't worry the person will submit brethren to the greatest surprise this boy was the one calling me after I've been calling him since, looking for him all over the place. Now he's the one calling. He came and started begging. Say, please forgive him. He doesn't know what came over him. The Bible says he will overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn. I see God overturning and overturning someone's situation today. If you are in that category, you cannot just sit down. You cannot just sit down and clap. You can make a noise for a triumph shout of victory to Jesus Christ. So even my partner, he couldn't believe. Even up to today, he thought that I will lock up the guy. Because I told him, I've gotten the Holy Ghost. Uh, police have arrested him. He thought he's a natural police that arrested him. So I told him we locked him up for one week and we, the Holy Ghost have released him. Now he's the one begging to come and submit, come and do the necessary things. So I want to give God the glory, God of restoration for using our daddy and mommy and this altar to break the yoke of darkness in my life in Jesus' name. I receive. May you not fight the battle that God did not send you to fight. Amen. I pray for somebody. Your God is greater than your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your foundation. They will not set you up for problems. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I remember you come to me. I'm very happy for this testimony. And I thank God you followed the instruction. Like I am here because so as to open the eyes of people. Before you embark on litigation, um, uh, let's bring it home. Before you start to go to police station and court and all of that, make sure you have told God about the issue. Don't just start making trouble because you have the power to do it. When God is the one that sends you, he will back you up. But if he didn't send you, <laughs> police will help you to work out. Everything, every cover you have saved, you will waste it on liquid.
investigation that is going to cause, make it trouble, they arrest you, the person turn it over for you, and that's how you go. But those that have wisdom, they will call upon the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for your life. What your foundation has swallowed, they have vomited it. These are spirits. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. I'm here to pray for somebody. I don't know who is running away with your money. I don't know who has swallowed up that God has prepared for you. Is it the land? Is it the, is it the people? Is it the powers from your foundation? Today, the way those who are owing him are looking for him, that is how they will look for you. I mean those who have eaten you and they ran away. Those who despitefully use you and they thought they have used you and they have dumped you. They will come looking for you and begging you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will come looking for you and begging you. They will give to you what they have swallowed in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And the children of God said, Amen. Amen.